Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you Mission 3 of the Mission Boston campaign, Burning Bridges. The mission order is as follows. Major Warren, the immediate threat against St. Mare is lifted, but it is merely a respite. The Germans are gathering forces west of the Murderay River and trying to secure a crossing to get back at St. Mare. Your orders are to get there, take command of the 508th's 1st Battalion and prevent the Germans from securing the main causeway's bridge until we can send you more reinforcements. Then, once you've built up enough strength, your objective is to attack the German concentration area and repel them. As a secondary objective, try to locate and destroy a major anti-aircraft, next preventing the air force from operating in the area. If you can neutralise it, air support will be directed your way. Main objective, hold the bridge. Let's go ahead and launch the mission. The situation is improving, sir. The beachhead is expanding north, relieving the pressure from St. Mary Glees. And in the south, the 101st Airborne is regrouping for an assault on Carenton. But the 507th and 508th situation on the Merdere River remains hazardous. They were scattered by the drops, and the crossings they were supposed to secure are still contested. And if that were not enough, the 508th 1st Battalion's CO was just killed. Division is sending you to take charge, Major. Your 1st Battalion 508th PIR is holding a sector of the Merdere River, sir. So far, it's been able to prevent the Germans from crossing and threatening the bridgehead, but they've suffered heavy casualties and are in desperate need of reinforcements. Besides, their last reports indicate that the Germans are bringing armored support for their next assault. Aside from the 1st Battalion's elements already holding the crossings, we don't have time to deploy further troops before they launch their attack. The rest of your troops will have to be engaged as they arrive. Our mission is to hold the main causeway long enough for the 70th Tank Battalion to reinforce us, and then with this support, we push the Germans back. Be aware that the Air Force indicates heavy AA cover in this sector. If we could locate and destroy those guns, they'll bring the air support. The bridge is right here. Compose your battle group. Right, let's have a look at what we have today. So, under the Recon tab, plenty of Pathfinders will do us good. Then we'll just go for the Recon in the M20 Command again. Our airborne rifles have bazookas to ambush enemy vehicles in the woods. We should position our machine guns in second line, close to the river, or in buildings where they will be able to engage enemy infantry without being exposed to enemy vehicles. Next up, we need our airborne rifles. We've got loads of them available still. Let's make sure we bring in our airborne leader. So gonna make sure to bring in the glider leader and we'll bring in the 50 cows. Just go for more airborne rifles, that should do. We have received M5A1 light tanks. They're perfect to tear apart enemy infantry and light vehicles. However, it's highly recommended not to go toe to toe against enemy tanks. I'm going to make sure that I have all of my M4s here. I think we'll just go like so. These are very, very important for both their HE capability and their AP capabilities. We now have M8 Scott assault guns. They will provide a substantial firepower against enemy infantry at medium range. I'm going to bring in, I think, just the Jeeps with the M7DD and the M8 Scott. To defend that bridge against enemy armors, we need to find the best positions for our anti-tank guns, under cover with a long line of fire and away from enemy infantry infiltrations. I'm tempted to bring some bazookas just in case there are any places where they would come in handy. The M3 guns are useful for light armor, we've got some M1 guns for heavier armor, and then some M1 guns in phase B, we get two more of those. The Luftwaffe won't bother us today. 
but our M16 half-tracks are deadly against infantry, while the M15 can deal with light vehicles. I'm definitely going to bring an 88, I think, because we captured those in the last mission, and therefore we have access to them in this mission. And it can be very useful not only for the ground, but also in the air. We've been granted some extra 105 millimeter howitzers. They're less powerful than the OP's long-range batteries we received yesterday, but they are more responsive. They can be quickly put to use against moving enemy infantry, as their explosive shell will pin and slow them down. I'm going to take some mortars in Phase A alongside the off-map, and then we'll have some M3s in Phase B. As for our Air Force, I think I'm going to go for Grasshoppers and also the Mustangs once again. Just make sure that we have room for those. Or we'll drop maybe one of the AT guns in phase A. And that should do nicely. We start off with no points, just the reinforcing units or the initial units that we have and the reinforcements as they come. I need to make sure that my units have orders, so I am going to do that before we continue. Move the AT gun into here. I'll make sure to keep the command with them. Move up the mortars behind this tree line. I don't really want to put anything in a position where it can be fired upon at range. We're ready, Captain. Put the machine gun in there. Um, we can bring the M3 gun up to this point. I think that should be fine. Although saying that, I should probably bring it up to, say, here is probably best. Roger. Then we can just have Infantry unit short. On this far left side, we've got an MG and a bazooka. Bazooka would probably do well to try and move up a bit, so we'll try and move that far up and we'll start. Let's go. Just going to move up a few more units here and there. Let's put a, a airborne rifle in there what and then we'll put the bazooka next to the river. It's fine. Maybe I should keep the 50 cow in the church. We'll see if that actually has the line of sight to shoot at anything. If it doesn't, we can move it afterwards. Yeah, just going to put an MG there. We've got a relatively nice defensive position. Although I will need infantry to cover these M3 guns, I feel. But the first thing I'm going to invest in is the M4s. Let's get a grasshopper in. See if we can find that AA. Scouts have located the flank position, sir, and it looks as bad as the flyers were saying. Okay. We should deal with it quickly so the Air Force can support us. This we have found it already. There's a couple of 88s. Hopefully they won't shoot down my grasshopper before it gets out. I'm going to need some forces to take that on. Let's wait until I can afford myself an M4 to defend this crossing. And then we will invest the rest of our reinforcements in order to destroy the flak guns. Any orders? Let's liberate some ladies. Safety's off, soldiers. I'm gonna send this airborne rifle, I think, all the way over to the far left side. Get ready for a fight. Keep those bazookas on return fire. 
Their bomb rifles can stay in cover for the time being. This machine kills fascists. I'll move into the tree lines when I can. That's just a Panzer 35. I think I'm quite simply just going to have this on the main road cover that crossing for us. I'm tempted to bring in one for the left side as well. I'm not sure if we have to defend this bridge or not. This bridge is also a problem I think. Thankfully I have the M1 gun in place there that should be able to take out anything if it tries to cross there. Maybe I could bring in another M3 gun for that position. Although this M1 gun should be fine and I'll also have the uh, M4 in that position to get the job done as well. Gonna have to move that 30 cow, it's gonna get shot at otherwise. I need those tanks to reveal themselves. Okay, let's bring in an M4 for the left side just in case and then we'll start investing in those airborne rifles to take the Chateau. Since this is a two-star M4 I expected it to be a, a little better than it is. Well, at least we're going to be getting some shots off from the AT guns as they fall back. Yes, sir. The other thing I could use on this right side is probably the mortars. This is I guess we could just off map it. Let's just save for off map. If I can get line of sight on the ground then we can just off map it. So I'll purchase some pathfinders, then we'll wait two minutes, we'll have 180 points, we then we can get the off map, we can just off map the position where the flak 88s are. Any orders? Spacing. And it should work out fine. In theory. Guess we could also use some recon on this side, maybe. But there's always yes, sir. gonna be the front line pushing towards us if that comes under threat, regardless. By the way, I think this M4 is pretty okay going to the left side. Okay, time for the off map. So far, our M4 is doing all the work, which is absolutely fine by me. Give our men a rest. Yes, sir. I have nothing else planned for this afternoon. Forward observer ready. With the next tick, probably just going to bring another unit of airborne rifles so that I can secure the right side of these forests. And then we'll save for another M4 because we do have a third one available in Phase A. I've got a feeling they're going to come across this bridge. I can hear it. Let's move this airborne rifle back that way. And I've also got this M3 gun that can shoot on the left side. If we get in its line of sight, a smoke screen should allow us to close in on it without too much damage. I don't know if this is too risky. 
If we can get the off-map to work, that'd be fantastic. Right, let's now zoom back. We'll get the pathfinders up so they can provide recon onto that area. Yes, sir. And make sure they're on return fire. Hopefully, that will get the job done. Now it says there are five guns here. I can only see two at the moment. Ready, sir. Oh, I don't want those to engage. I guess it's fine. Those both died, that's for sure. AA guns destroyed, Major. And the flak fling's gone as well. The mighty eight is on its way. Oh, okay. One off map strike is all you need, lads. Scouts are reporting movement on our left flank. Ah, would you look at that? Almost like a premonition. I have, of course, played these missions before, so I do know what's coming. For the most part. Right, I don't need to hold this right side, so I think I'm just going to fall back from this position. And we'll move this off map into a position where it can defend the main bridge. Well, those bombers, they bombed quite far back, that's for sure. We're paratroopers. We're supposed to be surrounded. But since the anti air is dead, we can actually have our grasshopper just fly around. Let's buy another one. Ten minutes left, holding the bridge. So far, pretty simple. And to bring in another M4. I think they're within the 100 meter range there, so they should just surrender. German heavy artillery spotted, sir. Shall we order ours to counter fire? Is that the FKs? in the sky. How bad is enemy AA over there? I mean, I'd probably just like to the enemy. off map I that. Worrying reports about enemy activity on our right flank. Oh, right flank. Okay. Defend that. Jerry's dead. Red six mounted up. Hit the pavement. Probably only need like one yeah, unit of. Airborne rifles. Ready. Bring that grasshopper back. And we see everything coming on that side. It's nothing too scary. But that's a B2 dead. The Panzer 35 just surrendered straight after. So far, it's been pretty simple. Get some reek on here to assist, and maybe a second unit of airborne rifles. The next thing I'm going to save for is the Mustangs, since it looks like we have open skies again. They look like ants from up and therefore there's no reason not to take advantage of it. Such 
gonna keep the attack move up with this infantry. Copy that. Ow. We can start moving quite aggressively actually. Be ready. Go, troopers. Radio check red one through. And they just run away. They're just like, we're out of here. There's actually another bridge. Just here. Let's send uh, an airborne rifle up there instead. I'm tempted to off map this left side. I think I will with the amount of reinforcements coming there. Defense has held very well so far, though. Might have to be a bit careful with the airborne rifles. Uh, let's maybe move them back let's for the time being. Down. Yes, sir. Run our way. I'm going to bring in another unit of airborne rifles just in case. Mustangs it is. Start bombing this artillery. Also two Lorraines there that we want to get rid of at some point. Oh, this off map's going to be perfect. Yeah, we'll start walking our way back. Okay, the Cuban MG is causing us issues apparently. Uh, wipe that out. Roger. Search and destroy. New order, skipper. Run away. Try and drive forwards as much as we can. And I'll put the off map onto this area if I can. Tell me where they are. Both of my recon aircraft are refueling. Oh, let's not move that there whilst the Panzer 35 is engaging us. It seemed We're like a fatal mistake. Nice Getting some recon for this far left side though is not a bad idea. Because then I don't have to rely on the Grasshopper to spot all the reinforcements coming towards us. I'll just have that leave for now so it can get some more bombs. And here comes another bombing strike. It looks like clearing this AA sooner than later is definitely a good idea because the bombing strikes will therefore do way more. If you do it late into the game then you might only get one or two strikes. But it seems they just come in off cooldown I would assume. Let's uh, zoom back to here and attack move up. That there is just a graveyard of tanks. We've got a B2 dead, a couple of Panzers, Panzer 35s. Meanwhile, my M4 just chilling. Loads of kills. At your orders. Jerry's dead. Yes, sir. Let's move the Pathfinder across, and we're going to have the. Airborne rifles cover the bridge along with the M4. Should I off map this lot? Yeah, why not? We've got another off map vehicle, so we'll be fine.
Yeah, our grasshopper's ready to go again. Let's bring that in. And if our naval battery is used up, we may as well move it away so we don't lose it. I'm tempted to bring in the 88, but I don't think I'm going to utilize it until I push up more aggressively. That off map did actually take out the Panzer 39 and almost it annihilated all of those guys. That's nuts. Okay, we're going to double bomb this artillery and then we're going to strafe. The FK-39. The other one. Alright, see if that killed it. Hopefully it did. If not, I can have one of my P-51 strafe. The FK? No, it's dead. Okay, that's good. Only one minute left. Bring in more M4s. The are, almost on the bridge. We must stop them. are they? I don't see them anywhere on the bridge. Maybe it's because of these Aufklader? That'd be pretty lame if that, like, failed the mission for me. There's more to here. Okay, these Mustangs. We could probably strafe something. Maybe go for the BMW. Nah, let's just have them reload their bombs. That would be much more useful. Put three M4s on the way, never hurt. And considering they don't have anything that can really defeat our M4s, we are good to just run them down after this. The bridge is secured, and the Germans are pulling back. Shouldn't we pursue them, Major? Reinforcements are here. Time to go on the offensive, don't you think, sir? Don't you think, sir? Let's get going. Time for the airborne rifles to push on up. Right, we may as well attack from all angles. Seems as though they're trying to like consolidate all their forces at the moment. Yes, sir. Oh, look at the AI coming in here, just charging on. Why not? I'm going to be a little bit careful with how I engage my M4 here, because at close range those Panzer 35s can actually kill us. I was trying to get the airborne rifle into range. Position in those woods. A good artillery and air bombardment should prepare them for a final ground assault. I'm sure it will. Let's keep pushing. Yes, Need this M4 to engage the Panzer 35. Let's just bomb it, just in case. I don't want to lose an M4, like, randomly. Okay, it's dead, never mind. We'll bomb a Lorraine instead, then. Right, make sure my command is following my tanks. We'll bring up the mortars, just in case. Up. 
We're caught moving this thing. We're done for. Get those Mustangs out of there again. And keep moving up with recon. Here comes the bombing strikes. And this has been pretty damn smooth so far. I'm not sure I've even lost the unit. Maybe one or two. Oh, that's not good. Speaking of losing units, need to make sure that M4 does not die to the Pack 40. How do I deal with that quickly? I guess we just bring in the off map again, right? That would be the quickest way. Yeah, there's the Pack 40 we've got to deal with. There's a Marta 1. You can probably bomb the Marta 1 with the Mustangs. I think there's a couple more Marta 1s further up. Radio check red one through six, over. It looks like the AI is going to suicide into that. Hopefully I can get up there and get the off-map strike set sooner than later. Pretty important. Uh, let's make sure my M4 here does not move into range. Or at least gets out of range sooner than later. Uh, let's smoke the AI. Also, that allows me to get the uh, off map up into range as well. Good. Alright, that's good. Now we can leave. Get behind cover, please. Now, I'm actually going to have my M4 move into this right side orchard because when the, M the Marta 1s get close, I can then engage them. Bomb them if we can still see them. One off map. There we go. Whew. Saved the day. Just about. <laughs> I'm out. Over. Go on, kill those martyrs with the bombs. Oh, just made them fall back. Let's just have them strafe the martyrs now. And we'll get our next grasshopper in. Oh shit, okay. Smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. M4 down. That sucks. And it was one of our own. I wouldn't have cared if it was the AI, but it means we have one less M4 to work with. Alright, I guess the best thing to do is just be have this M4DD engage, and this one can move up as well. I love it. So many positive waves. Yes, sir. I'm almost dry. Right, we've got plenty of time to shoot now. Good. Okay, one of the martyrs is dead. That's the second one. Great. So both of the martyrs on the top side are gone. And we just need to continue up the sensor. Off map dead. That's good. Bring in some more command for these tanks. So they're all two star. And we'll bring in the AT8. Any orders? Moving on to new firing position. Ready, sir. Yes, 
There's a really nice off-map target here. Right, there goes that Marder. Brilliant. Let's just hope that my board DPA does not get sniped by some off-map. That would be... Well, not off-map, some... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Andy Dank is what I was <laughs> trying to say. No idea why this isn't firing. It uh, gives us a nice target. So I am absolutely happy with that. Not going to get close to these buildings until I know they're cleared out. I have been bombed a number of times by the AI bombers. There is that. There goes another Lorraine. Oh, there is actually a pack 40 there. Okay, that one can unload and follow that M4. This one can unload and follow that M4. And onwards we go. We're just going to fly right over the edge of the forest. Okay, job done. <laughs> I thought we'd actually have to capture the ground there, but we didn't have to. We just killed everything uh, with the off map. So after 29 minutes and 27 seconds, mission 3 is complete. And our kills must be absolutely crazy. Yeah, this naval battery did loads of work. Initially took out those two Flak 36s. Oh, okay. It was two Flak 36s, a Flak Verling, and two Flak 36s, uh, 88 mils, that we had to kill. Then loads of infantry with the other two strikes. The M4 that was holding the bridge did really well for us. And all of the airborne rifles getting plenty of kills as well. This was the one that was sniping to the left side. Got loads of kills onto those tanks. Naval battery wiping out the pack 40s for us. Our only loss was the M4DD. Almost flawless. Almost. Maybe next time. <laughs> if I ever play them again, which I doubt after this. But either way, we'll be moving on to mission four in the next video. Until then, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And uh, goodbye. Goodbye.